So in today's video, we are going to look at the topic joint variation. Joint variation occurs when one variable varies directly or inversely with other variables. So for example, if x varies directly with y and z, then you can represent that as x varies directly with y and then z. Now because x varies directly with the two variables, we are going to have them on the same line. Now we are going to remove the proportionality sign and introduce an equality sign and a constant. So we have x equals k times y times z. Let's look at the second case. If x varies directly as y and inversely as z, then we are going to represent that as x varies directly as y and then inversely as z. So y is going to be in line with the x and then we have the z inversely related to x. So this also becomes x equals k times y divided by z. Let's look at a third case. If you have x varies directly as the square of y and inversely as the square root of z, then you have x varies directly as the square of y and then inversely as the square root of z. So this also becomes x equals ky squared divided by the square root of z. If x varies directly as the square root of y and inversely as the square of z, then we can represent that as x varies directly as the square root of y and inversely as the square of z. So this becomes x equals k times the square root of y divided by z squared. So these are some of the relations you may encounter when solving a typical joint variation question. Most often than not, you'll be given the initial values of x, y, and z, and the final values of any of the two variables, and you'll be asked to find the value of the third variable. Now let's move on and solve some questions. So for question number one, if x varies directly as y and inversely as z, I write down an equation connecting x, y, and z, given that x is 8 when y is 5 and z is 3. And then I, I find y when x is 12 and z is equal to 4. So that is what we are going to do. Now to write down the expression connecting x, y, and z, let's first of all write down the relation between x y and then z so here we have x varies directly as y so this is the representation x varies directly as y and inversely as z so it becomes divided by z now we are going to remove the proportionality sign and then we introduce the equality sign and the constant key so that becomes x equals k times y divided by z. Next, we are going to substitute the values of x, y, and z into this equation to find the value of k. Then we can write down the equation connecting the three variables. So we have x to be 8. So that is 8 equals k times y. y is 5 divided by z, which is 3. Now let's cross multiply. So when we cross multiply, we have 3 times 8 equals k times 5. Now 3 times 8 is 24. So we have 24 equals 5k. Because we want to find the value of k, we are going to divide both sides of the equation by 5. And then we have the value of k to be 4.8 so this is the value of key now using this same 
equation we have x equals since we know the value of k we are going to substitute that here so that is 4.8 times y divided by z so let's call this equation 2 so this is the equation connecting x y and then z now let's find y when x is 12 and then when z is 4 so that is i i so when x is 12 and then z is 4 we want to find the value of y now let's substitute the values of x and then z into equation 2 so we have 12 equals 4.8 times y divided by z which is 4 we are going to cross multiply now 4 times 12 is 48 so we have 48 equals 4.8 times y because we want to find the value of y we are going to divide both sides of the equation by 4.8 and then we have y to be equal to 10 so the value of y when x is 12 and then z is 4 is 10 now let's solve the second example so for the second question, x varies directly as the square root of t and inversely as s. When x is 4, t is 9 and then s is 18. i, we are going to express x in terms of s and then t. And then i, i, we are going to find x when t is 25 and then s is 20. So that is what we are going to do. Now let's write down the relation between x, t, and then s. So x varies directly as the square root of t. We have x varies directly as the square root of t. And then inversely as s. So we have divided by s. So this becomes x equals k times the square root of t divided by s. Let's call this equation 1. Now for i, we are to express x in terms of s and then t. So we are going to substitute the values of x, t, and then s in equation 1 to find the value of k. And then we can write the expression or the relation between x, s, and then t. So x is 4. So we have 4 equals k times the square root of t. Now t is 9. So we have 9 divided by s is 18 now here we are going to cross multiply so we have 4 times 18 equals k times the square root of 9 square root of 9 is 3 so that is 3k equals 4 times 18 we divide both sides of the equation by 3 3 goes into itself once into 18 6 times. Now 4 times 6 is 24. So the value of k is 24. Now let's rewrite this equation putting in the value of k. So we have x equals 24 times the square root of t divided by s. Let's call this equation 2. So we've been able to express x in terms of s and then t. Now for i, i, t is equal to 25 and then s is 20. We are going to find the value of x. Now from equation 2, we have x equals 24 times the square root of t. Now t is 25, so we have 25 under the square root divided by s which is 20 square root of 25 is 5 so we have 24 times 5 divided by 20 5 goes into itself once into 24 times 4 goes into itself once into 24 6 times so we have the value of x as 6 i hope you enjoyed today's lesson thanks for watching and see you in my next video Bye-bye.